Maybe you're starting to plan those summer vacation trips, spring break, whatever. We got you covered when it comes to the wheels. We've got Mike, our auto right. expert here. Good to see you, Mike. I'm here. Good to I see you, here. my friend. I'm going to have to share your microphone. Just take it. Um, all right, so here we go, right? Spring break is here. Everyone's getting ready to travel. They want to get out. Let me just say, first of all, that this doesn't surprise me, that everybody is driving Megan. Right. Driving Miss Megan. Right, so driving Miss Megan. Now, this is the Alfa Romeo, and this is the Giulia TI. Now, all three vehicles I have are all-wheel drive. This vehicle, Alfa Romeo, Italian-inspired, starts, you ready for this, at $38,000. And this this will be the most expensive vehicle we have with the red leather. Eight-speed train. And now in the middle, you'll see right in the middle that big circular knob. Go ahead and turn that, the one that says DNNA. That's so DNA, you'll see on the screen. Oh. I'll let the cameraman get in here. Check out that screen. So you have, you have the DNA, which is sport, that's red. Then you have your N, which is more of a neutral category. And then A is going to give you that green, which means you're going to get great miles with it, better miles per gallon. This thing is awesome. It's fast to drive, paddle shifters, Italian inspired. Fancy. And the starting price is great, right? So $38,000 for a Julia. This one will top out about $50,000. Right, I need an SUV. I need something bigger we've got the toyota down at the end that's right we've got the toyota at the end this is awesome so the best selling toyota is no longer the camry for that brand it's this right here it's the rav4 adventure this is all-wheel drive and it's all about taking this vehicle off-road. So if you get inside, Kirk, you can see this is for the family. It's super comfortable. It's yeah. got plenty of creature comforts in it. Cool. Everything that you want in a vehicle. Starting price on this for a RAV4 is $25,000. This one is thirty-three. So this is a full off-road vehicle with great ground clearance. This is what they call a crossover SUV. This is a crossover SUV. I really call this one a small SUV. Your real crossover is going to be this right here. Starting price for a Lexus. No, it's not forty or fifty thousand dollars. Thirty-two thousand dollars for this right here. This is the Lexus UX 250H, and this is a hybrid. Just take in the luxury, right? Now, for those at home that want to buy a car and you want great gas mileage, forty-one miles per gallon with this vehicle right here, and it being a hybrid, and that starting price is what makes it a showstopper for me. Safety pedestrian detection with crash avoidance on the front, lane departure warning or lane keep assist, rear pedestrian detection, all of it. And are you surprised to see that, hey, somebody's yelling at us. <laughs> They're rocking. They oh, got the music going. That would be Megan and Sam yelling at us. Are you surprised how the prices on luxury cars like Lexus's have come down? For yeah. a Lexus to start at thirty-two grand. Yeah. So it used to be for all the technology in these cars, yeah. it would cost so much money. Now you're talking thirty, you know, thirty-two, thirty-three thousand for this. You're talking thirty-two thousand for that. And then, of course, with this car over here, you're talking thirty-eight thousand. I mean, they're having so much fun in there oh right God. now. Well, the hooligans not included. All right, guys, you're you're da time. you're damaging the leather. Oh, you have to get out. <laughs> Red Look at that. Yeah. What do you think, what, what do you think Megan? Wait, I think we should uh, take this on a road trip. Where should we go? California? You look like a little kid. <laughs> back in the back. If only she had a booster seat, although her head would be sticking through the roof then. Thank you, Mike. Good to see you as Good always. You as always. We yeah. appreciate that. Thank you. If Greg will come out here. Greg, give us a quick quick uh, idea on the forecast. Oh, he's coming out. All right. All right. We're going to get a little uh, idea on the forecast here okay. before we wrap up. Kind of a chilly morning, Greg. Does it warm up? Yeah, it warms up a little bit. We'll be in the uh, upper 50s today, so a little bit cooler than normal, but still doing okay. The next couple of days stay basically the same. We got yeah. the clouds. We